Hey, what's up everyone, Chip here. So let's talk about how we want to install the new KitOps 2. First, let's talk about if you already have KitOps installed, then go to your preferences, find it, and remove it. And this is real important because if you don't remove it, then you're gonna have a conflict. So make sure you remove it. Then you want to close Blender. And now, as you can see, here's the new version that I have got installed on my desktop. Your numbering might be different, but this says 2.83 which is the version of Blender that it runs with. And then 2.17.7 is the version of KitOps. And this is the pro version because it doesn't say free at the end. Let's go back into Blender and we'll go back into our preferences and into add-ons and we'll hit the install button. I'll go to my desktop and here it is. This is a zip file and when you download it, it downloads as a zip file. So you can store this anywhere you want to. But when you install the add-on, it's going to uncompress the zip file and put it in your add-ons folder. So this is kind of an archive file. You don't need to keep this around. You can even delete it if you want to. Very different from KPAX where you're going to want to store those in a specific place. So let's go ahead and install the add-on. And now you can see that over here, when we turn it on, I'm going to save my preferences. I'll go over to KitOps. And the pro version, the very first thing you're going to see is this install kpacks this is a link to actually this video that we're looking at right now so just so you know and you're going to also get a bunch of different inserts that come with the pro version then you're going to want to install your own kpacks so let's get on to that next so when we click on this little button right here it's going to show us that we have one kpack installed it's called mailbox so what we want to do is we're going to want to install more so i'm going to go into preferences and i'm going to go to kit ops before we install KPAX, let's take a look at these preferences for just a second. This is an interesting one at the bottom, sort modifiers. So if you turn that on, I like to keep it so that this one right here, sort weighted normal, is turned on. So if you always have a weighted normal over here at the bottom of your modifier list and you add an insert, it'll always push this way to normal all the way to the bottom, which is what you want. You want that to do all the cleanup for your mesh normals. And now we'll go to file pass and file pass is where we're going to actually load in our K packs. So before we load in our K packs, let's talk a little bit about where you want to store your K packs. So in my case, I've got this KitOps all master folders and it's in my Dropbox account and I keep all of my K packs here. And when you purchase a K-Pack or download a K-Pack, it will be delivered as a zip file. And what you're going to want to do is expand it. After it's expanded, like for instance, let's take a look at Master Mega 300 Tech V2. That comes with KitOps Pro. So we'll take a look at that one. Once we've expanded that, we have it here. And inside it, we have a bunch of what we call K-Pack folders. So the key thing to remember is that you probably want to store this, even though KitOps won't use the zip file directly. It's only going to use these files. So these need to be somewhere where you're always going to find them in the same place every time you go looking for them. So I stored them in Dropbox. You can store them on your desktop. Store them in somewhere where you have both read and write permissions, like your documents folder would work. So now that said, let's go ahead and install them. And so what I'll do is I'll hit a plus button here, which will give me a choose path. Then I'll go in here and I am going to go to KitOps All Master Folders. And let's just go down to the one that comes with KitOps Pro, which is this Master Megatech 300. So you click in here and my advice is to just keep clicking until you see a whole bunch of ping and blend files. And now you know you're inside a single K pack. And so you want to go up one. So now we have, this is a list of all the K-Packs, and this is really where you want to accept it. So think about it, drill down all the way to get a list of a bunch of blends and ping files, go up one, and then accept it. And now, with that done, you can add another one. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to add EV Materials. Same thing. This has got a blank blend in here, which I put in in case you want to add your own materials. But basically, if you double click, you'll see that there's a whole folder here of blend and pings. I'll go up one and accept it and then when you're done save preferences and close and you can come over here now and you're going to see you've got a whole list of k-packs and each one of these k-packs has a list of inserts so you can choose whatever you want and you'll get a list of inserts for each one of the k-packs 
So if you want to, for instance, add a material, we can go in here and say plastic medium, add material, and now we have that as plastic medium. Go and say cutters medium, grab this cutter, add an insert, and we'll cut right here on it. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So hopefully this helps you understand how to install both KitOps 2 and KPAX. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.